everyone and happy 1st of February to you. We are so delighted to be doing Moments with the Messengers again with you. Uh, to kick us off, we have a song that you've probably heard before if you've watched our vlogs. It is one of our family's favorites and with us today we have Bernadette Negus and Laura Blankenship. To kick things off, we're going to start off with Bernadette Negus. When asked about how this song came about, she tells us what this song is based on and the message that she is trying to bring to the world. Okay, well, a lot of it was based on Isaiah 43, 19, which I'll just read you that verse really quickly before I share. But, um, behold, I'm about to do something new. Even now it is coming. Do you not see it? Indeed, I will make a way in the wilderness and streams in the desert. Mm. And really the motivation of the song is just thank God, you know, God is so creative in how he comes through for his people, right? It's unchanging. He is unchanging and that's an absolute. But he is full of new things and full of creativity and there's no limit to that. Oh, yeah. um, this talks about, uh, you know, I'm going to do a new thing, I guarantee it. A new thing, soon you're going to see it. I'll build a road through the ocean, carve a path through bounding waves. I'm going to do a new thing. And I think a lot of times, like as Christians, we follow the Lord and we pray and he's come through for us, of course, because he's faithful. So we have a certain storm and God comes through in a certain way, right? Mm -hmm. And so we hold on to that because we have to, to build our faith and rehearse and remember those ways he's come through us before, through for us before. But then something new comes up or maybe a similar situation and we expect him to work in the same way. And so we're looking just right there and, it, and if it doesn't happen, we'll put this in the corner, or if it looks like it can't happen in that way. Well, God is certainly not limited by anything. Mm -hmm. You know, he is uh, he ways of coming through. So just because he came through it a certain way before, it doesn't mean he's going to come through that exact same way. He will come through, but you don't know how it's going to be. Or, you know, he's as creative and diverse as there are, his creation. He, he created it all, a million birds and, you know, trees and mountains and hills and all those things he does. Yeah. It's just full of good things. And I, and I think that during this season that we're all going through, the pandemic, you know, or all the craziness in the political world right now that, that's been that's been in an uproar mm -hmm. we we expect god to come through in a certain way but he's not limited to that so, so i look at you know we can look at something like the pandemic and look at all our limitations and say okay well god came through this way before but now we can't we can't we can't here's all this stuff we can't but god's just like that's nothing for him his plan is not going to be thwarted he's going to do a new thing i'll do that mountain in a different way he comes from another angle. You know, he's, he's just full of options and opportunities and ways to do all of that. Yes, so, I so I just, you know, that's what we were looking for, a fun way to really share that, you know, we could rejoice and we could be excited because, you know, it proves two things. We will stand in hopeful expectation, believing God still has good things in store. He's not limited to good things. He's a, it doesn't come to an end. Oh, I gave it all my good things. Sorry, you know, it's from now until our dying breath. Mm -hmm. um, so we to our situation, and as he does, we trust him more, more because then you have even more to share, right? With the next, there's, there's, um, I can't remember at this moment what Psalm it is, but it says, we'll rehearse all the things God has done and share with the next generation. Well, every yes. time he does something, you have even more to share, right? Oh, yeah. So just be an expectation of the new ways God is going to come through for us. When asked about how this song came about, Laura Blankenship told us about what it was like to write with Bernadette Negus and other writers, and she also told us about how she felt when she read the lyrics of this song and how that influenced her as she was composing the music. I love writing with Bernadette, and we have kind of a unique sort of, when we write together, it's different for me than it is when I write with um it's actually kind of different when you write with different people, to be honest. You know, kind of your flow and how you go. But mm -hmm. a lot of times what happens with Bernadette is she gets an idea for some awesome lyrics. And she runs with it. And then she sends me those amazing lyrics. And I see if I can come up with the melody. So for this song, I think that's what we did. She had this idea. And I remember reading through it and loving it. And hearing something kind of fun mm. that could come from this, um, it really struck me as 
so positive and, and a refreshing promise that God has for us to do new things. Mm. Um, I don't know how to explain that other than it was just feeling really positive and a, something refreshing. So it made me think um, when I sat down at my piano that I wanted it to feel fun mm -hmm. and positive um, as a reminder of His promise that He would do new thing for us. As we were chatting about the message of this song, we started to talk on the idea that God has so many different ways of solving our problems. Even if we face the same type of problem over and over again, He does not have to fix it the same way each time. It's so amazing to think that you know, the amount of people in this world are all different. We have different personalities, different looks, and different tastes in food. And as many as there are things that make us different, God has just as many ways of solving our problems. His creativity goes beyond our imagination. Yes, he's always faithful, that doesn't change, but the way he's going to get us through is full of so much variety and beauty. You know, that we all have testimonies to share, so. Oh yes, for sure. When asked about her favorite lyric in this song, Miss Blankenship had to say this about a specific line in the chorus. I'll build a road right through the ocean, carve a path through pounding waves. I think those are probably my favorite lyrics because it's so visual, like a picture comes to mind right away. Yeah. And I could hear how to sing it. Um, Bernadette is so good at that. When she <laughs> writes, you, it's, um, I love paint a picture lyrics. Mm. Lyrics that just come right in your mind when you picture it and you could just almost picture God's hand, you know, building a road right through the ocean and carving a path and pounding waves. I, I could just hear it and see it all at the same time. Um, I, I don't know, I love those. Those are my mm. favorite. <laughs> Ms. Negus also told us about how the message of this song has been manifesting itself in her life. I had a certain situation come up, even the writing journey, the songwriter's journey is kind of challenging and obviously, and you know, a lot of my way, I'm here in New York State, which I'm not down in the Nashville area or with a lot of other songwriters, you know, and so a lot of the ways that we connect with artists and different people, we go to all the concerts we could, you know, we go to different conferences. Well, right now during the season, everything is closed. You know, there's, we can't get to concerts and we can't do the things we did. And I remember I was just walking and praying. I'm like, Lord, you know, if this journey is where you're calling me, you're going to have to make a way. This is your problem, not mine. And, and just that very day as I was talking with the Lord, he opened up a new door that was just crazy, like only he could have opened, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that's who he is. That's, that's who he is. So rejoice and be an expectation. Whatever you're facing today, God has a way of dealing with it. And it's going to be a way unique for you or, or me or whoever. That it's just who he is. Lastly, Ms. Negus gave us a word of encouragement to trust God's hand no matter what the circumstances are. And each time he does it differently, it kind of builds our faith, doesn't it? I mean, oh, yeah. if it's just the same thing, oh, oh yeah, so here's this, so that's what he's going to do. But then you say, oh no, you can also do this, you can also do that. You know, it just, it builds. And he's amazing and creative and full of new ideas and new ways and we just don't have to fear, right? He's going to find yes. a way, a different way. It was a delight to have Brandon Egas and Laura Blankenship with us on Moments with the Messengers. If you have not heard this song called A New Thing or any of the songs from our latest album entitled Set Apart, you can find it on all the streaming platforms or you can find it on our website. The link for both of those will be in the description below. Thanks for being with us, and we hope to have you with us again next time. Look out for more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching.